Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and all 25 of my subscribers, today we are going to be showing you the inside world of ultrasonically cleaning your records. Now today I've got my Vivor 6Ls ready to go and ready to make vinyl records look beautiful once again. Now how do we do that? Here at Fading Petals, which we've sold thousands of vinyl records, we have some of the best ultrasonically cleaned vinyl records and the store links in the description. But we're giving you an inside view to that. Every single step, what we do to make a vinyl play the best that it can be. Because everybody knows that a well-cleaned record is an enjoyable record. Let's get into it. Step one is basic. Go ahead and wipe these down with some baby wipes. You don't want to put filthy records in your clean ultrasonic cleaner. Go ahead and add 16 fluid ounces of 70% isopropyl alcohol. And after this, you're going to go ahead and put in bathtub warm water. And this water is going to cool since the ultrasonic cleaner is an open system. Now you want the water line to be a little bit underneath since the vinyl records will take up space as well. Go ahead and add just a drop of Dawn dish soap in. The last thing you're going to add is X100 anti-surfacent. You need an anti-surfacent and you're going to add 8 mLs. Now this is extremely dangerous so make sure you wash your hands afterwards. Do not get any into your eyes, open cuts. This is very dangerous. So. Go ahead, add 8 mLs, uh, and you're going to then be able to mix once you've added these. And you can see it can now be mixed. And mix thoroughly. You want it to be uh, as a total of a solution as possible. And now you're on the home stretch. You make sure that your heater is up a little higher than you need it to be just because it's an open system and it's not a closed ultrasonic cleaning system. And you're now going to be able to add on your vinyl and your spacers. Now you can see that here is the record and I'm going to go ahead and put it on. Now here's a spacer that I'm adding on and this goes on just right in the middle and these I'm gonna drop a link in the description but I bought them on Amazon I think uh, two for ten dollars now the spacers they're a little bit wider and they're better than the ones that come with the kit but I had to drill out the holes uh, pre drill the holes so they're wide enough to go on the ultrasonic cleaner and you can see that it definitely protects the label from getting dirty and that's a great copy of Iron Maiden so I'm so excited to be able to get that clean as the day that it was made at the factory now when you're tightening it the last step you're gonna want to make sure that the vinyl turns when you tighten especially if you're using the OEM, just plastic ones that come with it. It's plastic spacers, but uh, even with these ones, you want it to move a little bit. So it never starts to become loose. Now here, you have the two cords that are gonna connect and turn on the motor for the spinner. And so I'm able to turn on the motor, and you can see it start to spin. Now I can turn it for 30, 30 minutes. You're gonna wanna spin these for 30. And that is all there is to it, folks. Now, I'm not going to grovel for likes and subscriptions, but if you want to join us on this epic quest to reveal the inner secrets of the vinyl industry and be able to improve your vinyl knowledge, then go ahead, like, subscribe, and share this with your friends. That's it for now. More later coming this weekend or maybe the beginning of next week.